Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for newcomers. My name is Didi, born to be free. Can you see it? I need to jump. <laughs> uh, enjoy the amazing backdrop again. Today, an amazing video on a beautiful Monday morning with four Bitcoin charts, a trading tip, a travel tip, of course, some mindset advice, and uh, yes, answering a question of one of the followers that was asked Friday at the video, guys. Let's quickly jump into the first part of the video, the charting. Let's see if Bitcoin is going to go up and create a new higher high on this beautiful daily time frame. Bam. The first chart, guys, is this day chart. I've been sharing with you guys now for uh, two weeks, I think. And I told you guys, yes, when we find resistance at that red line, we will fall back to that green line and from there bounce again and try to move up to that red line again. That is exactly what we're doing. We are finding that green line. We had two weeks, three weeks almost. We are bouncing up again, guys. So we are making a higher low on that uh, beautiful daily chart. You can see there was a low over here, there, there was a low over there and this is again a higher low so we had a high a higher high now we should be able to create a new higher high again that would be very beautiful because that would bring us around nine twenty nine thousand us dollar per bitcoin let's jump into the next chart guys on this chart you see the drawdowns from 30 day highs now we can see we haven't seen a drawdown bigger than 25 percent for over a year now so Bitcoin is becoming very stable. Yes, everybody is always saying it's a volatile currency. It is. But we haven't seen a drawdown bigger than 25% for over a year. So that's not like really volatile anymore at the moment. So we are building a beautiful base for this next bull run. So make sure you're adding to your Bitcoin portfolio because I believe we won't come below 30K again in the far future in the next bear market 2027. And that is what you see now we are building that strong base over here in this area so that will be a strong area of support after the crash in the next bull run top okay now the next chart guys this chart is showing you that we are closing to of course the halving as a uh, vertical halving red line we are coming closer by and we are probably going to be between 30 and 40k in my honor's opinion uh, around that halving in april 2024 so we are there now uh, i can only see one direction and that direction is up guys so, so for me guys i'm adding to my portfolio daily and i believe that you should be doing the same as well just keep dollar cost averaging into bitcoin whenever the price is at these levels between 25 and 30k guys this is a very cheap way to buy bitcoins at the moment we will go up to maybe 100k that it's times four from these kinds of levels that we are now guys that's quadrupling your capital in one and a half to two years time if you don't want to do that then i don't understand why you're watching my videos anymore now next chart we have this one at uh, the realized price guys we can see that every time in that uh, blue squares you can see that's the bottom and then we break out and we retest that yellow line that's the realized price and every time that we test that yellow line after that the huge bull market starts you can see this every time it's around the halving or just before the halving that we retest that yellow line last uh, bull run we did that we tested it uh, we broke out of that uh, blue square we came down again with that COVID crash we re retested that yellow line then came the halving bam then came the bull run now we had a beautiful bottom structure we gave up a little bit we are coming down now to retest that realized price again and yes we will again go into the halving and then into that beautiful uphill run all the charts tell me the same you should be buying bitcoin i hope you really enjoyed the charts guys but always remember i will keep repeating zoom out in bitcoin look at the bigger picture the bigger time frame bitcoin is nearing a huge massive bull run you should be in bitcoin at the moment don't doubt but do buy and zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day like we did this whole weekend we had a dinner and buy uh, yesterday we had a beautiful birthday party a sweet 16 party of a very good friend of mine his children's uh, his son sorry his children's his son turned 16 uh, we were there it was beautiful the kids again went to some party in patong i think yes patong long 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 happy long time late night yes they came home very early like six this morning uh, so yes we are finding a place over here but that's all to do with zooming in at life while you zoom out and in bitcoin guys look at the bigger picture let the trading bots handle your short-term trades or just see it as an investor hold long time 
till 2025 top, sell to stable coins at that moment, buy back in 2026-27 bear market bottom again. That's how simple it is. Let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, is a very simple one. Patience. You need to have patience. Let the market come towards you. When you analyze the charts, you use a Fibonacci retracement tool, for example, and your bet is that the Bitcoin price will retrace to the 0.5 or 0.6 level on the Fibonacci retracement, then put your buy orders there and then be patient. Yes, it can come down and go up and then you might think, ah, shit, it didn't go deep enough. But be patient. It takes some time. Maybe it will be a fake out and go a little bit lower and then touch that level. If TA is done in the right way, you need to be patient and wait for the market to get to that price level that you want to buy. Don't FOMO in earlier because you think that the reverse was coming. Then you missed that trade. And if you miss that trade, that's not any issue because there will always be a new trade. If you have a trade setup, believe in it and have the patience to wait to see it play out in the way you thought it would play. And if not, you take another trade. That was a trading tip for today. The travel tip for today, guys, is a Google hack. You know when you're traveling, you use Google Maps. But there is a hack in Google Maps that makes it possible for you to use Google Maps when you're offline, when you don't have access to Wi-Fi. So what you do is, you go to that area that you're searching for when you have Wi-Fi. So for example, Phuket, you zoom in to Phuket. And then you go to the search bar and you type OK Maps. Then you will get a pop-up screen that allows you to download that map. So from that moment on, you don't need Wi-Fi anymore to search your way on Google Maps in that particular area. There's also other apps, of course, like maps.me that does complete um, downloading of maps of complete countries or regions and countries, so you don't need internet. That's like maps.me. But there is a hack in Google Maps that also allows you to download the map. Try it for yourself. That was the travel tip for today. In Friday's video, guys, there was no question, so there is no question for me to answer at this moment, uh, which gives me the opportunity to, to remind you that at the moment, this whole month of October and the first week of November, we have this beautiful lucky draw on Bybit, guys. If you ever used my referral link to sign up to Bybit, please click the link to the lucky draw because you have a chance of winning of one of the 850 prizes, including an iPhone 15. So if you want to win the iPhone 15 or like a $500 coupon or a $1 coupon or whatever the coupons is possible over there, then make sure you click the link to that uh, lucky draw. Because everyone that signed up using my link can participate in that lucky draw. You don't need to sign up new or today. Just an old sign up is enough and you can participate in a beautiful lucky draw. That was me reminding you uh, to the beautiful prizes I am making possible for my beautiful followers on YouTube, guys. Uh, please ask questions down below the videos because also I'm here standing like this uncomfortable, like not having the possibility to answer a question because you don't ask questions. Ask me the questions down below the video. I will answer them tomorrow again in tomorrow's video, guys. The news for today, guys. Ferrari is accepting Bitcoins for their cars in the US. They will soon also start to accept in Europe, I think. So Ferrari accepting Bitcoins. Really big news. Of course, now everyone is doubting. Should I buy a Lambo or should I buy a Ferrari? Or should I just support Max Verstappen and uh, buy a Red Bull racing car <laughs> with Bitcoin? Probably also possible in the future. But yeah, it's huge news when these huge companies like Ferrari that are selling their cars like worldwide start to accept Bitcoin, they give a signal to the people. Look, we trust this and we think it's a very simplified uh, process. I think they are using BitPay to process their Bitcoins into US dollars again, but they could also do like 30% into US dollars and 70% keep that one in Bitcoin. It's all up to Ferrari. If I would be Ferrari, I would now only accept Bitcoins for the Ferraris and hold those Bitcoins the next two years. And then maybe they have a bigger budget so that they maybe could compete then with Red Bull and Max Verstappen because he's the champion because he's a good driver, but also because the car is a good car. So Ferrari, if you accept Bitcoins, hodl them. Don't exchange them with BitPay into dollars. Hodl your Bitcoins. Then you're a real Bitcoiner and then the real Bitcoiners will start to spend their Bitcoins to a Ferrari, I think, in the future as well. 
So that was the news of the day, Ferrari accepting Bitcoin. I will end it with a beautiful quote. Don't let yesterday take too much up from today, guys. What happened yesterday, you won't be able to change it anymore. Don't worry too much about what happened yesterday and focus on today, guys. You're living at this moment. Enjoy this moment to the fullest. Don't worry about what happened yesterday. Don't worry about what could happen in the future. You have no influence on that. You can try to plan it. You can try to make some plans to do tomorrow, but they will always be changed by the weather or by something else. So enjoy this moment, the moment that you are full in control, the moment that you determine what you're doing at the moment. I am, for example, recording this video and I'm enjoying this to the fullest. I'm not thinking about yesterday. I'm not thinking about tomorrow. I'm thinking about this moment. And that's what you should be doing all the time. Don't let yesterday take up too much of today, guys. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed today's video again. If you did enjoy this video or the backdrop, then please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you want to know? Because if you leave a comment down below the video, I will be able to answer it, for example, in tomorrow's video, guys. So you will have a shout out for free over there. Don't come with all those shitty tokens that I don't want to talk about. Just valid questions, guys. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. I uh, hope you really enjoyed it and see you tomorrow again. Bam.